My name is Andrei Sutnikas. I'm coming from Klaipeda, from Klaipeda Science and Technology Park. And uh, I am a, lead, uh, a leader of the project called Martech LNG. This is uh, the project that is very important for us, uh, being a business support organization. Since in this project, we're really trying to provide business opportunities when solving environmental challenges. So we believe that the LNG is actually a solution for the, a cleaner and greener ship in the Baltic Sea, but it's not only a solution to power the ships. It's the solution to develop new business models, to provide new business opportunities for uh, SMEs of our region. So. Uh, simply telling we are aiming at developing LNG as a business opportunity for many different types of sectors, for many different types of industries that could really be benefiting out of LNG access in the Baltic Sea region. So our project structure is so that we really had the research part, education part, and business part. So during the research part, we took a very close look into the LNG cap competence and capacity in the region. So we investigate the number of companies that are interested to get established with LNG activities. We investigated the R&D capacity in the region based uh, that could provide the R&D services in, on the LNG topics. And uh, we actually facilitated the cooperation in between the different R&D actors in the region to develop LNG as an attractive R&D content. And um, by providing outcomes from our research, um, research part, we uh, first of all, we did this uh, competence and capacity, LNG competence and capacity map based on the uh, Baltic Sea region. So this is access, access through, through our web page. You can go click on the different uh, lights down there and find your business or research or education partners in terms of LNG. We also developed a study which is also accessible on our web page where we evaluated the uh, competence and capacity on LNG in the region and we defined this in the structure of the value chain by providing the uh, clear positioning which parts of the supply and sta 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 uh, chain is still an issue and still a challenge. So it's uh, by reading that you can find it differently. First of all, it's the understanding how the supply chain is established in the region in terms of LNG. If you read it from the business side, it's a business opportunities that you have that you can establish in order to fulfill the whole supply chain. Then we have the, the second part, which is the competence building. It's clearly understandable that, I mean, that, that, that even know that there, there is quite a, a, a few companies, we have 100 companies registered in our uh, cluster mapping, are uh, interested to, uh, to proceed with the LNG development, but the competence is still a lack. We are lacking quite a, uh, basic competences to start those facilitations. So, we established two training programs and um, aiming at providing 10 different trainings in the region to supply companies with the competence on LNG development. By now we are 50% finished and I am, can proudly announce that we had more than 200 different participants at those events that really went through the LNG training the understanding the technology, understanding the safety aspects, navigational aspects, all that really relates to LNG development. And there, as you can see, some pictures from our trainings where people have been really interactive and working together. And uh, the last part of our project structure is LNG supply chain. This is, the, this is, the, this is where we're aiming at implementing the cluster knowledge. 
So we, it's, it's, it's basically establish the, the, establishing the business linkage to fill in the LNG supply chain. And for that, we've been really busy. We, 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 we already implemented 100% uh, of our study visits. Uh, we did implement two study visits, one to Norway to explore LNG infrastructure, and if you could see those people over here standing, this is one of our four groups during the study visit that we brought them all the way here. And this is the upper part of the LNG storage tank. <laughs> so it's, they really been introduced directly to the LNG infrastructure. Then we've been promoting in the LNG 17 uh, trade fair in Houston with more than 5,000 participants from LNG industry from all around the world. And for this, we had um, uh, developed the promotional material for more than 180 region, regional companies that all are trying to get established in the LNG industry as suppliers, as, as purchasers, and many different aspects. And we have promoted them to more than 5,000 stakeholders. We did uh, implemented the web promotional channel. We did implement. We, we, we did provide the brochures and etc. That will be that been distributed. But even more important, during this study, we gathered directly gathered more than 150 direct contacts to the companies all around the world that supply LNG technology purchase the services for LNG industry and are interested to cooperate with our companies, to cooperate with our region. And um, as a result from that, and can, I can uh, very shortly visualize that we had quite a few uh, requests from our companies to establish them with the contact outside the region. So we had one case study where we had established uh, the contact from Poland with the Foster Wheeler. Then we have uh, also provided, we, we've been established very much with uh, Shell and GE, who become quite a big uh, fan, so to say, of our project. So they're basically now participating in every seminar, every uh, project event that we organize. So taking it short, if you want to get established within the LNG supply chain to develop the business in the sector, Meet us at golng.eu and we will get you and we will support you in doing that.